Hello, my name is Mike Hoffman, Product Marketing Engineer with Agilent Technologies. In this video, we will compare the Agilent 3000X series and the Tektronix 3000 series oscilloscopes. We'll look at usability, update rate, memory, and system architectures of each scope. Let's begin. Let's look at the Agilent 3000X series. First, let's maximize the use of the scope's 8-bit digitizer. 8 bits translates to 256 discrete voltage levels on screen, so for the highest signal resolution, you want to use all of them. If you find yourself stuck between scales, Agilent offers a fine mode, which is enabled by simply pressing in the vertical control knob. You can use the same fine mode feature to change the time base by pressing in the horizontal control knob. In fact, all knobs have a second function when pressed. Text below the knob tells you what the secondary function is. Finally, to learn more about any knob, button, or soft key, simply press and hold for two seconds to access built-in help information. Tektronix does not offer a quick way to switch into fine vertical mode. You must navigate a few menus and then use a tandem of knobs to center the waveform on the display. Additionally, Tektronix does not have a fine mode on the time base. It also lacks pushable knobs, and only offers limited built-in help functionality. Next, let's look at the importance of update rate. We have connected the triggered out port of each scope to a frequency counter. You can see Agilent is updating at 618,000 waveforms per second. Tektronix is updating at 44,000 waveforms per second. As you enable digital channels and serial decode on the Agilent scope, its update rate is not greatly affected. This is due to our patented MegaZoom 4 ASIC that does digital acquisition and serial decode in hardware. Let's look at the Tektronix scope. As we enable digital channels in a serial bus, notice how the glitches and jitter have basically disappeared. The update rate has dropped significantly to just 22 waveforms per second. Agilent and Finivision oscilloscopes have a fast update rate and smart memory management thanks to our patented MegaZoom 4 ASIC technology. Alternatively, Tektronix utilizes a CPU-based architecture, which is why turning on digital channels and serial decode will slow down the system. These extra features should help you find problems, not hide them. To learn more about capturing glitches using fast update rate, watch our extended video or download our oscilloscope waveform update rate application note for a more detailed analysis. Next, let's compare the memory architectures of each scope. The Tektronix 3000 can optionally have up to two and a half times deeper memory than the 3000X series. But, deeper memory is not always better. Tektronix defaults their memory depth to just 10,000 points, and it must be adjusted manually by the user because of their trade-off between memory depth and update rate. InfiniVision scopes handle memory depth automatically to keep performance high. Additionally, Agilent uses smart memory technology to capture only the information you're looking for and ignore irrelevant data in between. We call this segmented memory, which is not offered in the Tektronix 3000 series. Learn more about segmented memory in our segmented memory video. For more information on the InfiniVision 3000 X-Series oscilloscopes, contact your authorized distribution partner or visit our website. Thanks again for watching.